this is Ryan with GameRoomSolutions.com and today I'm going to show you how to stream pretty much any TV show or movie using Kodi software. Um, not only am I going to show you how to install a couple of the add-ons that allow you to do the streaming but also to add certain t you know whatever TV shows or movies that you want to to your library so that way they'll be accessible from the main page. So the first thing you want to do is go to Kodi.tv and then the downloads and download the version that you need. I have other guides under download like on a Fire TV and I'll put those in the in the description. Today I'm just going to do it on a Windows box. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, do this install and just next through these screens. That'll boot up the software. And the first thing we want to do is go to System and then File Manager. We're going to actually add a location on the web that allows us to install the streaming uh, add-ons easier. So add source, press enter on none. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash fusion dot TV add-ons dot AG. Press enter. Down and then fusion down. OK. You'll see there that location's been added. So I can just backspace to get out of here. I'm going to go over to Videos, Add-ons, Get More. Hit the two dots to go back a screen. Uh, same thing, two dots to go back a screen. And now we're going to install from a zip file. And we're going to get the, essentially the zip file is the streaming add-ons. And we're going to get that from this Fusion folder here, XBMC repos. The uh, first one I want to get is the TK Norris. That'll have the one channel video add-on in it. So you can see it's enabled there. So I'm going to go ahead and just to show you get add-ons. Here it is. Video add-ons, one channel. Install. And while it's doing this, it'll also install other dependencies that are needed for that channel to operate. So now I'm going to go back here. Uh, Install from zip file again. Select Fusion. XBMC repos. And this time we want the Lambda. Which is going to house the Genesis plugin. So there it is. It enabled that. So I'm going to go again to um, get add-ons. Lambda video add-ons and then Genesis install okay so that's downloading it's gonna add that so what I want to do now is just let's just back all the way out of this and I'm just gonna go into the add-ons folder and you should see Genesis add here in a minute there it is so now I have the one channel and the Genesis, and essentially these plugins do the same thing. They have every movie, every TV show. I'm going to add something from both just to show you how to pull it into the front screen and, and scan it in so you have all the artwork and all that kind of thing for, for all of your media that you want to have easy access to. So we'll start with one channel. What I'm going to do is add a TV show and a movie from each of these two add-ons. So the first time that I log into one channel, it's going to do this quick countdown. And now it's going to show me help screen. I can just hit escape to get out of that. Now I can access any movie or TV show. So we'll start with movies. I can do an A to Z, you know, favorites, whatever. Search once I add the favorites if I wanted to. I'm just going to get quickly go to most popular here. So you can see here I have tons of movies uh, in the most popular. I'm going to go ahead just on the first one here and press the C key on the keyboard. That's going to pull up some options, and I'm going to hit Add to Library. So it shows there I've added to Library. I'm going to push the backspace to go to TV shows. And the same thing, I'm going to go to Most Popular. And you can see now I have the TV shows here. I'm just going to pick one, press the C key, Add to Library. So it's added that one. So I'm going to go ahead and back out of one channel here and go into Genesis. And you'll see it's basically the same thing. I'm going to go into movies. Has some different, you know, kinds of movie or you know, uh, subtitles or categories there. So I'm going to hit most popular. 
So I'll just pick one of these, press C, add to library. And again, we're adding to library, not adding to favorites. Shows that done, we'll back out. And we'll go in and add a TV show. Press the C key, add to library. Okay, so now we have a TV show and a movie added from each one of those add-ons. You can come in here and pick your favorite movies, all your favorite TV shows. And again, as new TV shows are added, that'll dynamically show up once we get this added to the front screen here. Well, it'll show up in here, but it's just easier to access from the front screen. So I'm going to back all the way out of this. And in videos, I'm going to go to files this time. Actually, it took me the same place, so I'll just hit the two dots. And I'm going to hit files there. All right, once I'm in files, I'm going to hit add videos, press enter on the none, and I'm going to type in special, colon, forward slash, forward slash, profile, forward slash. And you can see there it's going to be name profile. That's fine. Just press OK here. We don't want to say set any content to TV shows or movies or anything. We just want to add the folder for now, so I'm going to press OK. Now you can see it's added this profile folder. So I'm going to go into it, go into add on data, and you'll see our two plugins there one channel and Genesis. So I'll hit one channel. Now I have movies and TV shows. So for the movies, I'm going to press C, set content, and just press enter. And we're going to set that to movies. It seems to work better when you movies are in separate folders. Press OK. Do you want to? Refresh, yes, because that means it's going to scan in the movie. So now I'm going to go TV shows, press C, set content, TV shows. Don't check any of those. That's all you need. Press OK. Yes. Now it's going to take it a second because it's going to scan. I did Big Bang Theory, so it's going to scan in all of the seasons and all of the episodes. Not the physical video files. You're not going to download anything through this entire process, including watching it. It's just going to... Um, download all of you know the artwork and all of the metadata and that kind of thing for it so I'm gonna go oops, I'm gonna go into Genesis and do the same thing so movies set content movies okay yes TV shows oh I'm sorry on TV shows I'll press C set content TV shows and then okay yes So when that's done, I can back all the way out. So instead of going into add-ons and trying to hunt through stuff and, and waiting for it to you know hit the internet and kind of load the next page and all that, now you can see it's added TV shows and movies here. And so when I hit that, now I have full access to these shows as if I were uh, as if I had them locally, as if they were local media here. Um, so you can come in here, you know, of course you can change the the views. To however you'd want that same thing I'll back out now the TV shows so you can see there uh, again you can change to the different views here uh, so I'll hit Big Bang Theory you can see all the seasons again if you wanted to change it up to however you wanted to look at it I hit it there here's all the information I can press the I key and get info if I want to uh, press OK, it'll, and that'll actually start streaming it from the web. So again, you're not downloading anything; you're just streaming it. All right. So from there, if I want to go in and add other TV shows or whatever, depending on which add-on you like better, uh, that's the primary one you might use. Whether you get, uh, it seems you get better streams from it, or you get higher quality, or, or whatever the case might be. So I'm just going to go back into one of these, and just to show you, go back into like most popular. I'm just going to go ahead and press C again and add to library on a couple of these. And you can do searches to find your favorite TV shows or however you want to get to it. Um, add to library. So I'll go, wait, I'll go back in that. Actually, I'll go in the other one and let's add a couple more movies just to show that either way I got it covered.
So you can see here it's running a scam. It's out of those movies, so I'm gonna go ahead and back out. And what I'm going to show you here is it's it's running a scan to to scan in Family Guy, which is obviously a lot of uh, in Game of Thrones. There's a lot of episodes, so it might take it a minute or so to scan it all in. It's still pulling in the artwork here, so I could hit movies. So now there's my movies, my TV shows are all here with all the artwork, seasons, episodes, everything. Uh, so anyways, that's a quick guide. Install Cody, a couple add-ons, and then how to add them to your main library. And then you can go in and just start filling it up with the TV shows and the movies that you like to watch. Uh, visit GameRoomSolutions.com. We have tons of guides like this, videos. Um, we also sell arcade parts for home arcade machines. Show you to set up jukeboxes, home theater systems. Anything that's something like this that will get you going quick. Oh,